Good morning, folks. It's hard to believe the sheer mass of this arching plasma filament is not one of today's top solar stories. Let's begin just south of it. The Earth-facing solar quiet silenced a recently departed active region, but now that it's out of Earth's view, a major CME has released. I wouldn't say it is a kill shot missed, it's not moving fast enough, but this would have produced significant geomagnetic storms if it had come our way. Speaking of the Earth-facing solar quiet, the next test is afoot. The incoming active region has been throwing a tantrum just behind the limb, and a few hours ago, she let out a cry that produced a wholly benign but utterly gorgeous motion of ionized iron and ionized helium that was part CME and part coronal recapture, 100% beautiful. Beyond those events, we're also beginning to monitor the Earth-facing filaments destabilizing. Even though this one is diving back down to the sun, the others could release due to the disruption. Just now, getting over to spaceweathernews.com, despite those pops, the X-ray solar flaring remains in low C range. We have a flurry of sunspot production on the north. This is the second half of the next Earth-facing solar quiet test. All umbras spread for now, with the first part of the test, that incoming beast, now visible on the magnetogram at the limb. Solar wind is calm, but we saw a brief shockwave hit yesterday, with density and plasma temperature spiking by a factor of 100, and leading to a phi-angle twist in blue. No Earth disruptions resulting from that as of 6 a.m. Eastern. Earth took another gamma-ray burst yesterday out of Eridanus. And now let's jump over to the coronal holes, north, south, and incoming on the equator. I would normally wait for the transequatorial portion to really worry about quakes, but the solar wind speed says differently. Watch the polar areas of the chart here, and we're going to see a major drop in northern feared power and a surge in the south. And that southern opening is what is most exposed to Earth, there in red. Quake watch didn't get to drop down for long, but... The data is what the data is. Top links today begin with an article out of Caltech on Europa's water. They're saying that the surface features are the result of an active icy surface and that we're partially seeing frozen ocean exposed on the surface in the shattered looking areas. Visual of the day is a sinkhole in Florida. Not necessarily huge, but look how lucky that driver is. We're monitoring two of the three previous systems in the Indian Ocean for further development and especially with that CME perturbing the heliosphere. That goes for the system west of Australia as well. Eyes on that one. Folks, if somehow you didn't hear, our book is now available. The links are found here and at the websites. A hard copy is coming in the future, but right now it is a digital download only, and frankly the idea of printing this many HD color images on the 80 pound gloss paper they'd need sounds expensive, so the digital copy may actually be a better fit. This is pretty much everything I got, folks. I took the biggest swing I could. You won't be disappointed. We're rolling out the radar forecast in our top viewer locations and shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.